stones that Baalbek, Lebanon. Three stones are built into the foundation of a temple, the Jupiter Baal Temple, according to some historians during the Roman times. On top of that, the pillars of the temple are made of stone that only occurs in Ashwan in Egypt, almost 1,500 kilometres away. The transport of heavy stones already possesses problems in the present. Stones weighing as much as the largest of Baalbek would have been lifted by 18 heavy duty cranes today, so in other words it would struggle. Even the components of nearly 100 columns would require incredible convoys of specially secured heavy duty trucks. But these stones were moved over this distance at a time when there was neither asphalt nor engines. It's very possible that the following videos show you how they did this. It's old world pre-flood technology from fallen angels ultimately greater intelligences than us, of um, stone being lifted by sound waves and then stone actually being melted so that you could reform it. But some, that's, known, that's a known fact. In fact, there's all kinds of experiments all over the internet that you can look at where people are levitating objects of various sizes just through sound waves. So if that can be magnified and if our understanding of that can be amplified, then, then you could conceive, let's say, one step. That's just a one step forward, being able to understand that you can harness the sun and then creating that lens to do so. You don't. It doesn't require a bunch of other technological developments around it in order for that to exist.